What is going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Today we need to ground the solar panels that are up on that shed and I'm gonna try to get this damn ground rod out of the ground here. I don't know if it's gonna be possible but I got a two-foot pipe wrench. I'm gonna try to work this bitch out so I don't have to go buy one. Let's do it. Damn, it had some wiggle room, so I was assuming I was gonna be able to pull it out, but I didn't think it was gonna go that easy. Holy shit, <laughs> it came right out. All right, well, that worked out perfectly. Let's go install it, shall we? All right, so I think I'm gonna take the rod and I'm probably gonna pound it in just close to the shed, cause why the hell not, right? I gotta get a sludge hammer and all that out of my shed, so while I do that, let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor. Crypto Miner Bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs. Founded in 2018, this company specializes in top quality ASIC miners from brands like Bitmain, Goldshell, and many others. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, they offer competitive prices, fast shipping, and easy payment options worldwide. Pay with bank transfer, Bitcoin, or even other cryptocurrencies, no cash needed. The prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. This shed looks like a bomb went off because I carried everything out of the basement and put it in here, but I found it. It's back in the corner, so now I gotta, uh, I guess, set myself up, get this eight foot ground rod started right about here. So that worked out pretty nice. It didn't hit any big boulders. I didn't have to pull it back out, so that's perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna reutilize this uh, wire right here. I think this is six gauge. I think it's six gauge. I don't think it really matters, but that's actual ground wire that you would uh, wire a water meter with. If you guys don't know, I'm a plumber by trade. We have uh, right here, obviously you guys know, I still need to clip these lines and all this stuff going into the shed, and I gotta cover that hole. We're gonna get this wire through the base here. So I can actually, uh, I guess, land this on the ground rod. And then we will pull up the rest. We're going to come into the bottom grommet here. We're going to end up getting into uh, probably the base of this surge protector part right here. And then I also do need to run a ground from the panels up top down the side here and loop it up into the box as well to twin into the wire that we're going to be hitting the uh ground rod with so everything is completely grounded and we're good to go so the the best part i guess about this is the fact that the panels i don't have to jump between panels like i did on the pergola i can actually just mount the ground rod to any point up there and the front skirt here that is aluminum that actually carries across all of the panels and grounds them all together which is freaking phenomenal so let me get this wire onto that ground rod, landed. I still don't have the right clamps, but I'll I'll use zip ties for now just to bother you guys. And then we will uh, figure out how to ground the wire up on the roof. All right, so we need a few tools to do so. Let's, uh, I guess, get my crimper out of here because what I'm gonna do is put a uh, ferrule on the bottom of the wire, or the end of the wire, rather, for the ground to go into that box. This should work good. Uh, I don't need anything else out of there, I don't think. All right, rest should be in here somewhere. So I need a fill, uh, flathead rather, I'm gonna take that. I need some other tools, a wire cutters and strippers that'll work. I think that's it, is that all I need? Maybe some zip ties, I don't think I have any clamps, unfortunately. I uh, just got some one inch clamps actually for my irrigation. So I don't have any clamps that we could actually use. Yeah, for this, yeah, nope. 
No clamps. All right, well, that's that. These are the ferrules I'm going to use. I think I need one of these guys. That should fit. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then it's going in raw. All right, so the way this little crimper thing works, it's pretty sweet, right? Get the wire in this uh, ferrule, and then you just get this tool on it and crimp it. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Might be a little rough, but let's see if I can balance the camera on my knee. Dude, this is never going to work. Maybe it will. All right. I think, let's see, which one should we do? I think it's this one right here, the last one. Hopefully, it works. Just crimp it. That's it. Makes a nice crimp so it can't fall out. And then you're good to go. Hell yeah. All right, lines landed. Again, I still need to clip everything to the side. What I'm actually going to do, because this wire is actually pretty thick gauge, I don't think anything else is going to uh, fit through this grommet. I'm actually just going to run an individual wire straight all the way down through the ground and connect it to the ground rod as well from the panels up there. And this is actually the uh, grounding point or mount that uh, you put up there somewhere on that... Um, What's it called? The front lip section that I was kind of explaining to you guys how it grounds everything up there. Just the face of that. So I got to figure out where this exactly goes and then um, I'll run a wire right to it. So yeah, for now, I just kind of zip tied this thing. Again, I got to get the proper clamps. I, I just haven't went to Home Depot yet, but I'll grab those in a second. Let me go get this wire ran, get this one landed, and then we'll be all done. So I'm using a spare length of this uh, panel wire that I had left over actually, just so we can utilize everything. Again, this is six gauge, so it's actually, sorry, eight gauge. So this is uh, more than enough to ground the panels up top. I actually ran everything already through the wall on the other side and I got whacked with one of the roofing nails. So we're leaking, but I think we'll be all right. Let's show you where we're gonna mount this thing temporarily. Now I know it's not gonna be done perfectly. Okay, I still gotta side the shed. As you can see, it's still wood. It's this particle board bullshit. So once the siding comes in, I actually ordered it, just getting it delivered to the house. But uh, we're gonna be mounting this thing temporarily because something grounded is better than nothing grounded on panels. Let me uh, just get this other side, uh, like watertight threshold mounted. Oh, well, I tried to put a piece of plastic in those threads to block that off, clearly didn't work. I just took a little piece of the plastic that it came in and threw it over that to block it off for bugs, but obviously I'll have to figure out something else. Anyways, got the hole there, just gonna mount this guy, and then we're gonna mount this clamp up on the roof with this guy on it. So let us uh, let me just do that real quick and then we'll uh, figure this out. And I'm also gonna be putting some sort of uh, flexible conduit over this. I know it's supposed to be like metal, but again, I don't care. All right, she is installed and it's getting freaking windy and I know this isn't proper and I don't wanna hear it. Listen. This is how I got it. I got it landed on this guy again. This thing is grounding all the panels all the way down on the front and the back. So as long as you have a clean connection here, it will ground everything else there. So that's what we got. It's probably not even supposed to go there, but whatever, it'll work for the time being. These are the wires. I'm gonna put some conduit over this so it's not on the shingles like that. I left a little bit of slack so I could actually lift it up and put that uh, sleeved conduit over it and through this uh, clamp. And then I'll probably put another clamp here when I decide to uh, get this thing all situated but whatever for now it's safe I can run it I don't have to worry about this thing not being grounded let's check out the other side quick and uh yeah we'll call this a win and here we are I got it all closed up I saved the peel for you guys there it is everything's on I gotta clip this still to the side but I got both lines like this is the ground going up to the panel what I should do is wrap some uh, green tape around this so you know it's a ground as well as this one because they both look like the neutrals, right, or the negative side of the panels, but uh, I mean, I know what it is, so it shouldn't be too bad. We got some clips up there, but I do have to clip these to the side here, and then we actually just temporarily zip tied them over here for now until I get the proper clamps. But guys, listen, I appreciate you for hanging out. Hopefully you guys have a good day. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.